Hi guys and welcome to the Lavender Chair Crochet Tutorials. In this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make a granny square, so stay tuned. In this tutorial you are going to need yarn and a crochet hook. You can use whatever weight yarn that you would like as long as your crochet hook corresponds to that yarn weight. For this tutorial I'm going to be using worsted weight yarn and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To begin your granny square, you are going to create a slip knot. Insert your hook, chain four. Make two double crochet in the fourth chain from hook. This will be your first three double crochet cluster as the chain three counts as your first double crochet stitch from here on out. Chain two to create your first corner and make three more double crochet in that same space. Chain two to create your second corner. Make three double crochet in that same space Chain two to make your third corner and three more double crochet in that center space. Finally, you are going to chain two for your fourth corner and join with the slip stitch to the chop chain of the turning chain. Now for round two, chain three. Make two double crochet in the same space. Chain one. Make three double crochet in the next corner. Chain two to create a corner and make three double crochet in the same chain two space. Chain one and create three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the next corner. Chain one, three double crochet in the next chain two space. Chain two to create a corner, three double crochet in the same chain two space. Chain one, make three double crochet in the final chain two space. Chain two to create that corner and join with a slip stitch to the top chain of the chain three. On to round three. Chain three, make two double crochet in the same space. Chain one, three double crochet in the next chain one space. chain one and now we're going to create an additional corner that means you're going to make three double crochet chain two three double crochet in the chain two space chain one Three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one. Corner. That means three double crochet, chain through, two double crochet, 
Sorry about that, guys. That's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in the chain two space. Chain one, three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Chain one, three double crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, make three double crochet in the final chain two space. Chain two to create a corner and join with a slip stitch to the top chain of the chain three. My apologies for the background noise, as it is very distracting. It appears that today they decided to have the lawn guys come on my only day that I have for filming. <sighs> to continue this granny square, you can make it as large as you want. You just continue by placing three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in each corner, and three double crochet in each chain one space along the side with chain one spaces. To finish my granny square, I like to make a single crochet border around the entire thing. I'll show you how to do that now. Chain one, single crochet in the same space, and single crochet across each stitch and chain one space until you reach the chain two space. Ugh. I got a little yarn barf. There we go. Okay, so continue single crocheting across the side of your square. Now that we've reached the chain two space, you're going to make a single crochet, chain two to create a corner, and single crochet again in the same space. You're going to continue doing this around the entire square. So single crochet across, single crochet, chain two, single crochet in the corner, and repeat that all the way around until you reach the end of your square. I've single crocheted around my entire granny square with the exception of the final corner. For the last corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet made. And that's it. Finish off by cutting your yarn and pulling through. Weave in your ends and you've completed your granny square.